Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another of these Bandai Planosaurus models to take a look at. I recently had thrown up the T-Rex and uh, reviewed that. We now have the Triceratops, and I also have the Stegosaurus here to take a look at at some point soon, as well as the Mosasaurus, maybe, I think there was an Ankylosaurus, and Spinosaurus. I have all of those pre-ordered, so I'll have reviews up of those as well at some point in the future. But you can see some really cool box art here. I actually really quite like the uh, look of the artwork here for the Triceratops on the front. You can also see kind of a sneak peek of the model over here. And, of course, again, Planosaurus, Triceratops, the Planosaurus logo right there. If we flip it to the side, you can now see quite a bit going on over here as far as different images and stuff. And you can obviously see we've got the fully put together and, of course, the uh, fully put together skeleton version as well, which is pretty cool that you have the opportunity to kind of put together uh, the model however you would like and display it however you would like. Almost the same stuff going on here on this side. You can see that this is number two in the line. And then here on the back, again, some more information. And I'd imagine probably, yeah, pretty much the same thing over here on the side. So let's pop the box open and check it out. So once we take the plastic off and, uh, you know, open the box up, you can see we've got quite a few pieces that are included in here and then of course the dreaded stickers that I'm not a big fan of looks like there's not too many here on this one so I don't know maybe we'll be able to use them we'll just have to wait and see but uh, definitely a few parts here that we'll have to get put together and then there's also the instruction if I could hold it up the instruction manual that we have in here that basically will tell you how to put the model together as you look at it again it's just kind of like a uh, almost like a snap kit sort of thing where you can kind of just snap the pieces into place and you know of course just follow the instructions and I'm sure you'll be perfectly fine doesn't look like it's going to be a hard build much less to do on the Triceratops than there was for the T-Rex and then you also have these images here on the back again furthering the instructions to kind of show you how to apply the actual outer parts, you know, like the skin textured parts and stuff of the dinosaur to continue to, again, build it further. So, I guess what we're going to do now is we'll pop the, you know, plastic bags here open, we'll pull the pieces out, I'll get the skeleton put together, and then we'll check that out from there. So here is our finished skeleton of the Triceratops, and as you can see, it definitely looks really nice. Yet again, it's pretty small, like the Planosaurus models usually are, or at least it seems that way, because we're only two into the line, but they definitely seem like they're a bit on the smaller side. You can see again, though, that it does have a very nicely detailed appearance to it, and just like with the T-Rex, we've got some articulation, so you can articulate the jaw which, which uh, popped off entirely. You can articulate the jaw, but as you can see here, when you pop it in, it just basically pops on. So you can only go so far before you're going to pop it off. But you can also articulate the head pretty nicely. You know, you've got some nice range of movement there in the neck. So you can get just kind of like your standard standing pose or your charging pose or whatever you would really like. So that's definitely pretty cool. Not really anything else going on in the neck region, but as far as the head goes, there's some nice mobility. You've also got the ability to uh, move the leg here in the elbow and shoulder. So that's pretty cool to have, again, quite a bit of movement there in that area. And then as you move back, same deal for the hip as well as the knee. Again, you can articulate those areas. And you also have the tail, so you can move the tail up and down. And that's really about it, as far as what I've noticed anyway, on the articulation. You can, of course, move the limbs as well, kind of like out away from the body a little bit, because they're kind of like on ball joints, so there is some nice mobility overall with the skeleton. And again, that allows you to create some different poses and different potential display options for the Triceratops skeleton itself. And it definitely looks really nice. But of course, the thing that we want to see is the Triceratops completely finished with the skin and everything on it. So I'm going to keep building this and then we'll check it out once we get to that point. So there we go, we've got our Triceratops now put together. We haven't actually added any of the stickers or anything quite yet. Don't know if I will, because I wasn't a big fan of them when I tried to add them to the T-Rex. Don't think I'm going to be a big fan of them here with the Triceratops. At the very least, 
I would have liked to have gotten the eyes on it, but I'm not sure how they'll even look, and they don't really sit well on it. But you can see this uh, Triceratops definitely looks cool. It uh, honestly, I think, looks maybe even a little better than the T-Rex did, and I'm pretty impressed with how easily the pieces all fit and snap together. Like you, well, I mean, some of them don't stay together too well. They kind of start to fall apart, but like when you actually are trying to put the model together, you don't even necessarily need the instructions. If you are familiar with the anatomy of a Triceratops, it's going to be pretty obvious. And uh, you can try certain pieces. They may not fit well. You try it on the opposite leg or something. It fits better there. And so it pretty much tells you where the pieces go. So that's pretty cool as far as the model goes. But what we're going to do right now is jump to a closer look at this. And then we'll check it out from there. So if we start up here at the head sculpt of the Triceratops, you can see it looks okay. You know, it's not super impressive, super vibrant detail on it, but it looks good for what it is. It just isn't something that, you know, is going to absolutely floor you, but it looks all right. You know, you can see some decent looking scale detail and stuff. And overall, it does have a pretty highly detailed appearance, even extending up there into the horns. You can see some nice looking sculpt and detail to the horns themselves. You might see a little few extra pieces of plastic here and there, like right there under the horns, because I haven't thoroughly cleaned it up. I'm just kind of trying to get the model reviewed and not really worry so much about the little things right now. But you can see uh, again that we have alternate coloration as we have the brownish tones for the horns, same deal for the beak and the lower jaw. And you can see as you move through, you have a green for the upper half of the dinosaur and then this kind of like light brown or tannish color here running along the underside. I will say the skin texture on the underside actually looks pretty decent. But again, it looks all right for what it is. I, of course, would actually probably want to paint mine. I don't know that I will because I have so many other things I want to get painted. But maybe one day I'll get to, you know, work on painting this. But uh, one of the problems when it comes to putting figures like this together this way is you can see seam lines and stuff where it's kind of snapped together. But I don't really think that's, you know, a huge deal. You do still have articulation. You can see we can articulate the jaw. You can also articulate the head turn it and everything so that's pretty cool definitely nice to still have some articulation and as you move back here into the body you can again see the skin texture looks pretty nice i actually think like specifically here in the stomach region the scale detail looks pretty decent overall you can see a few osteoderms poking up here and there through the course of the model and you can also see some skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff we do still have articulation here in the shoulder as well as the elbow which is nice to see that we you know, still have that amount of articulation. You've got a pretty decent looking foot sculpt here. Nice detail even within the nails. You can see the toes are sculpted pretty nicely. You can look, you know, in certain areas it's a little muted as far as the detail goes, and then in other areas it looks really nice. No nail paint or anything like that because, again, we just have the, like that strictly green coloration throughout. But as you move up, you can kind of make out the shoulder blade. You can also make out the hip bone. You can definitely see some muscle definition in both the front and rear legs, which is also nice to see. And something else that we've uh, had plenty of on Ceratopsians as of late, we've got a nice line of quills here running along the back of the dinosaur from like the hip region out onto the tail, which is also pretty cool. And just like, you know, with the front leg, you also have the articulation of the hip and the knee. You can see right there, we can move the knee. You don't have an impressive amount of mobility, but it does work pretty nicely. You can again see the foot sculpt looks fairly nice and uh, the nicely sculpted toes. Again, somewhat muted in certain areas, not so much in others. And then as you move out, you also have the tail, which, yes, you still have that little bit of articulation out there. So that's something that we couldn't see for the T-Rex, where the T-Rex kind of uh, had much more limited mobility once you actually put the skin and everything on. The Triceratops, for the most part, seems to still have the same amount of articulation, whether it's in the skeleton phase or the fully you know, built phase. But again, it all looks pretty nice through the course of the model. Some areas look nicer than others. Some areas kind of don't snap together perfectly. But for the most part, I think it looks nice and definitely is a pretty neat, fairly different style collectible than we're often used to when it comes to dinosaur collectibles. So I think that part about it is definitely appealing. So pretty cool overall, but let's go ahead, try these stickers out and we'll see how they work out. So with my T-Rex review, I didn't fully go through with adding the stickers on because I absolutely hated them, but I've gone ahead and done that here with the Triceratops just because I really wanted to give you guys a chance to see what it does look like with the stickers on. It has all of the stickers that are included except for this eye because... 
when I was trying to pull the stickers off, it didn't come off right. It actually ended up tearing, so like the paper was on the underside, and I could not get it off no matter what. So I guess my Triceratops is just going to be blind on one side. But uh, you do have the sticker for the eye, which you can see there is kind of iffy. It doesn't look terrible, honestly. It looks okay there for the eye. You've also got a sticker for the tongue in there. I don't know how good you can see it in there, but there is a little sticker for the tongue. I think even that looks okay. It's not until you get back here to the quills where it really starts to look rough. And from the side, it kind of looks all right. You know, it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world. But then when you look at it from up above, you can see how cheap it is and how just not very appealing it looks. Like, it just looks very, very childish, not so high quality. And I understand that these are probably made in a way for adults and children alike. So kids could probably enjoy this aspect of the figure. But as far as I'm concerned, again, it's just really cheap, not exactly what I would call appealing. I do like the color scheme they've gone with, though, with the way the browns, those kind of like almost reddish browns, play off of the greens and stuff. I think it looks really nice. It's just not really my cup of tea. I may keep the stickers on for now, just so I have it kind of like in its original state. But uh, again, I would probably prefer to paint it myself. You do also have a little base for it, and uh, there's also a sticker there for the species name that you can apply. And then you've got some little holes there that you would normally apply the pegs to, like we did with the T-Rex. But the Triceratops doesn't actually have any pegs on the underside of the feet. So I guess you could basically just stand it on there however you would want, and, you know, it doesn't really much matter. But as far as a size goes on to the Triceratops, actually, let's move that base out of here so we get a nice accurate size. For a length, you are looking at about six and a half inches or around the 16 and a half centimeter mark. And for a height, the highest point would probably be the quills or maybe the top of the frill. I'm not too sure, but right there around the little over two and a half inches or around six and a half centimeter area. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Clovisaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Bandai Planosaurus Triceratops. And you can see again, it's definitely on the smaller side, just like the T-Rex was. You know, it's pretty much in the size range uh, of the T-Rex where it's a lot smaller than what you would probably expect it to be. Again, I definitely thought they would be a bit larger, so I was fairly, I don't know if I would say underwhelmed, but almost I would say impressed with how small they actually are, but still have a pretty decent look to them. Then for another size comparison, we have the T-Rex next to the Triceratops, so you can get a pretty good idea as far as how those size up next to each other. I knew that would be a comparison that you guys would definitely want to see. But for another comparison, here is the Schleich Diabloceratops, a figure I bring in fairly often for comparisons, and I felt like this one would be a good one to bring in because of the fact that it's very similar in size to the Triceratops. So if you do have the Schleich Diabloceratops, then you can definitely get a pretty accurate idea as far as what the size of the Planosaurus Triceratops is. And then for one final comparison, we just have a Mattel Velociraptor, something I like to bring in quite often because it's a figure that has been released time and time and time again, and so many of my viewers have that in their collection, so I felt like, uh, again, as always, it's a good one to bring in to kind of give you an idea of the size. So this Planosaurus Triceratops from Bandai is pretty cool. You know, I like the fact that it's uh, got a pretty decent sculpt to it, nice visual, and from a distance, I think it looks really quite nice. And uh, the fine detail, again, up close doesn't look as nice as it could. It's a little muted in some areas, but also pretty decent looking in others. And they did do a pretty decent job as far as adding in quite a bit of detail throughout, especially when you look up in the horns and even all the way down to the toenails. So as far as the sculpt and detail goes, even though it is a little muted in certain areas, Overall, I think it looks quite nice. I also like the coloration they've given it. I think that the tones of color with the greenish tone and then that lighter tone running along the underneath looks really nice. I think they play off of each other quite nicely. And the brownish tones up there in the quills, almost like a reddish brown, also looks really quite nice, except for the fact that they're stickers. I hate that part about it. But uh, again, it's definitely got a really nice visual to it as far as both the sculpt and color. The addition of having articulation is also really fun. I love the fact that you can kind of pose the Triceratops and create different dioramas. That also is really nice. And 
the fact that you can again have it in either like the fully skin textured living version or the skeleton version is also really cool and just like with the fully living version the skeleton version also has the same articulation also has the ability to kind of pose it and display it how you would want and i actually think the articulation works a little nicer when it is in the skeleton phase but Overall, again, I would prefer to keep it with the fully alive looking version just because I think it looks nice. The only downside to me, or at least not really the only downside, but the biggest downside to the figure is the stickers. I hate the stickers and they're even more aggravating this time around because the first time when I had the T-Rex, the stickers came off pretty nicely. They just looked bad. Whereas here with the Triceratops, I actually had some difficulty getting the stickers off. They were kind of tearing on the paper and everything. So there's even more of a cheap feel when it comes to even just getting the stickers onto the dinosaur. But once they're on the dinosaur, I think they look bad there as well. The eye looks okay. The tongue looks eh, iffy, but the uh, quills just look really bad. It gives it a cheap feel overall and definitely not something that I like to see on my dinosaurs, especially when you have a pretty nice looking sculpt overall. It's almost ruined with the addition of those stickers. But as a whole, again, it's still pretty cool and having now both the T-Rex and Triceratops, especially being able to display them you know next to each other is really cool and definitely something that i'm pretty happy with again i may paint them at some point we'll just have to wait and see i guess when things uh kind of chill out with the amount of stuff that i have to build and paint but regardless if you are interested in grabbing one of these for yourself i will include a link in the description to big bad toy store which is exactly where i purchased mine so make sure you check that link you know go grab yourself one of these if you are interested and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching